mind learning a lot of the basics. So you want to explain what you do at a cocktail party to somebody else and they don't quite get it because they think learning is, you know, school. Uh, learning for kids, learning for adults is pretty much same old same old. I mean, what you do is you have somebody who's got a desire to learn. They want to figure things out. They want to do so where they can sort of take control of the situation, where it makes sense to them. They, this little boy is building patterns which he will later recognize. It will enable him to do things. And he goes out of his way to discover new stuff because he wants more patterns. So people are naturally curious. They're naturally curious in school until about seventh or eighth grade. We beat a lot of the curiosity out of them. But life goes on and we learn through experiments and some are great and we get feedback and boy, that's what. And very often some aren't so great. We have a little pain and we look probably learn even more from those because they're not in sync with our natural flow of things. And then we come to conversation. Now, I've, I've been like around the world and talked with a lot of companies about uh, instructional technology and how things... Still, I think the most powerful learning technology ever invented is human conversation because you, you know, you're connecting. It sticks. You remember it, you know. You're really involved. And to the extent that things can be conversational, so they're approachable, and that we can sort of multiply conversation, hey, bravo, that's a very good instructional strategy. In work, we can't all be just you know, fun over a cup of coffee or tea. So there's the sort of purposeful conversation that goes around collaboration, working with others. I think we miss a lot of tricks. Taking on the burden as learning professionals of providing everything when a lot of it can be, hey, you guys teach each other. I mean, that's the way most learning is going to occur anyways, teach each other. So that's sort of Jay's take on when learning. You leave things that are sort of loose and when do you tighten things up? If you've got people who are brand new at something, well that, that is different because you don't want them to, you don't have time for them to go and look at all the trees and figure things out. So then you've got formal, more formal learning, which I think of as learning that's got a curriculum, it's probably got a time frame, and it's probably got some sort of recognition at the end, be it grades or certificates or gold stars or whatever. And that, that's wonderful for helping novices understand an environment, learn the language, or, you know, it's the training wheels, it's getting up to speed, it's like riding a bus. Everybody's going to the same place, the same speed, and you got individual needs, you get hungry, forget it, you're on the bus. You know, we're not stopping because you're hungry. As we mature, we don't want to be on any bus ride. We don't want any stinking course. We're not going to even attend them because they're really filling in holes in the tapestry of our knowledge. And we just want ways to get what we need to know and get on with our lives. So that's almost the ultimate and informal. That's, hey, I want to know something. I'm going to call you and ask you because I figure you probably got the answer. Or I'm going to, you know, just try to brute force my way through it. And if it doesn't work, fine. Then I'm going to give you a call. But so you've got these times that it's appropriate to ride the bus and times it's appropriate to ride the bike, go where you want. I have a lot of bike riders who come by my house. I live on sort of a popular road up the side of a very steep hill. So the weekends, all these people in spandex with little lightweight bicycles are going up. The and you know, if one of them breaks down, Inevitably, the next person stops to help him out. So you never see a lone cyclist who's broken down. There are always two or three of them because, you know, you help your buddy. And that's true in a lot of the sort of mature informal learning sense at all. We naturally want to help people. Now, if I run this out by some sort of, let's say, hard-nosed business leaders, are interested primarily in the very short-term, just get on with it uh, mode of thinking, sometimes they'll rebel and say, well, how do you know that this works? And I say, well, I mean, it is how you learn to talk or walk or 
you know, be social and things like that. So it, it clearly, it, you know, it, it, at some point, it works. But in fact, if you look, 80% of learning in the work environment, at least, comes from the informal, asking questions, making mistakes, looking the tree trunk, that sort of thing. And yet, corporations tend to spend their money on the 20% that's left over. So you've got a situation where most of the money is spent where it's going to not have the greatest impact. And I, I'm, I'm not a fanatic for, hey, everything ought to be informal, let's let loose. But I think we need to consider sort of a rebalancing. And if you're involved in a formal learning program, looking for opportunities to use informal means to supplement it, to make it better. There are a lot of things that you know, are out there that we can get five times the results back if we have just a, a, a front end and a back end and maybe some reinforcement, maybe some reflection there. Look, 80% of learning in the work environment, at least, comes from the informal, asking questions, making mistakes, looking the tree trunk, that sort of thing. And corporations yet, tend to spend their money on the 20% that's left over. So you've got a situation where most of the money is spent where it's going to not have the greatest impact. And I, I'm, I'm not a fanatic for, hey, everything ought to be informal, let's let loose. But I think we need to consider sort of a rebalancing. And if you're involved in a formal learning program, looking for opportunities to use informal means to supplement it, to make it better. There are a lot of things that you know, are out there that we can get five times the results back if we have just a, a, a front end and a back end and maybe some reinforcement, maybe some reflection.